Good morning, it is Monday, it's 8.30 a.m. and the movers are on their way. Okay, the movers just left and it's been literally four hours. I look a little disheveled at this point, so ignore my appearance. But unfortunately, one of the, our floor length mirrors is cracked, so we gotta get rid of that. And they're searching for a painting. They think they gave it to the clients before. But I also think that I misjudged some of the furniture and how it's gonna tie into this new apartment. So we actually just realized that and I that we're gonna be selling a lot of the furniture. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, please let me know. I'm listing them on my stories on IG and you have to be in Miami obviously to be able to pick them up, but I'm trying to get rid of them ASAP. So send me your offers, they're all like really, really good quality. I'm gonna show you what we're selling right now. So in case every, anything is still available by the time this video goes up, you can let me know if you want it. So we're getting rid of this white bookcase. It's literally in perfect condition and it's already built and ready to go. Um, it's also really sturdy. So this used to be in our bedroom before. We're also getting rid of our West Elm couch. Um, in my last apartment, you guys saw that we had as an L. So obviously this is like really long and big. You can have it like this if you have a really big space or you can do an L, which is what we did. So we moved this piece on this side and it's a nice little L. Um, we're also getting rid of our coffee table. <laughs> I'm actually so bummed because I'm obsessed with this coffee table, but I kind of have a different vision for the living room and I just feel like this is just not gonna work even though I wanna hold on to it, it's just, I'm forcing it. So we're getting rid of this, getting rid of this acrylic side table. It's literally like brand new condition. It's also so, so heavy and sturdy. Um, also getting rid of our dining chairs. If you guys are interested, please let me know. These are vintage dining chairs. They're absolutely stunning. I hate to get rid of them, but we honestly have like nothing black in this apartment. So I just feel like I'm forcing it by keeping them. They're honestly so beautiful. Oh, I'm so sad. And then uh, this TV, it's in perfect working condition, barely used it. Um, I think it's 45 inch and it comes with Roku and everything. So also getting rid of this. And we're getting rid of our West Elm dining table. The one that you guys saw in my last apartment. Um, it's unfortunately in Lyle's room right now. He's in a meeting, so I don't wanna walk in, but we're getting rid of that too. So if you want that dining table, it's honestly so pretty and modern and like, such good quality, it's so heavy, it's so nice, but it's just not gonna match. And I used to have the dining chairs with that table, but now that we're getting rid of the dining chairs, it just doesn't work. So we're getting rid of all of that. If you guys are interested in anything, let me know. I am about to start unpacking. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday morning. 
Um, the rest of the day on Monday and yesterday, we were just unpacking and we just literally unpacked all day, got things ready. Um, we scheduled some appointments. I ordered more furniture. I have to get someone to come mount our TV and our lighting fixture in the kitchen. So just random things like that. But um, I wanted to show you guys some updates on the progress and where we've gotten. Furniture is all ordered except our couch. So now it's pretty much just a waiting game, but I'm really excited to have finally, I mean, I've spent days looking, like days. And if you guys know, like when you order furniture, it's never available to ship. Like, I don't know what it is about furniture. It just doesn't ship, it's not ready. I also slept with my hair and a little braid. I haven't taken it out yet because I kind of wanted like beach waves. We're gonna see what it's gonna look like. I really hope this works. I haven't done that before. We have our mirror here and we're definitely moving that. It's just kind of here for now. Our bedding, our bed, we just are waiting on our bed frame, waiting on our dresser. It should be coming Friday, so that's kind of quick to be honest. I'm really excited. We're waiting on our nightstands. That's our robot vacuum that was just going. Um, she's been cleaning and she's trying to get used to the new apartment layout. So she's been honestly going on for like eight hours and I just had to pause her to this video because she just keeps going over the same areas. I don't know what's up with her, we gotta figure it out. But she's the best investment we've ever made, to be honest. And this is pretty much all that's left from our boxes. We unbox everything, put away everything. Um, I have to go through my beauty area. Obviously, want the countertops empty. So this is all just stuff I have to put away or organize or donate. Um, and I got rid of so much stuff, obviously, before the movers took everything and moved it here. But somehow, I have more. So, yeah. I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, and then for the bathroom, we ended up all of our like marble stuff came. We have a little marble toilet bowl cleaner and we had this toilet uh, paper stand that I had to order because there's like no toilet paper holder in this bathroom and none of the other bathrooms either. And we got that marble trash can. My closet is a work in progress. I need to figure out what I'm going to do. We have my little masterpiece here that I painted and made it safely, which I'm so happy about. I don't know if you guys can see with the lighting, but um, we have to figure out where we're gonna put this. And then we have the mini version. I think this is gonna go in the office. I don't know yet. Our rug we haven't put out yet. Yep, all the furniture. My kitchen countertop pretty much looks like this because these are all our decor pieces and I don't have our furniture yet to put them away. And I think the only thing left for furniture is the uh, living room sofa everything else I got ordered um, The outdoor furniture I ordered which I'm so excited about because I want to be able to sit on our balcony and just enjoy this view and the ocean and everything um, and then Sofa is the only thing I can't find because every single place that I looked where I really liked um, The style and the quality of the sofas. They were like 14 to 16 weeks till it's delivered. I'm like why why even if it's made to order make, like make it like a week or two why does it take literally five months to get a couch i don't get it if someone knows the answer to these questions i've been pondering um on let me know
I just made the best salad and roasted veggies for lunch slash, oh my gosh, it's seven o'clock. I guess dinner, I had no idea it was seven. Time's been flying by because there's just been so much going on and it's also still light outside and I'm not used to that, but I know like summertime is almost here. So yeah, I guess it's seven o'clock. I'm trying to, I just had a quick dinner, I guess. I'm hopping on my computer to do some work and then I'm planning on going to the gym. But I also wanted to quickly talk about Skillshare with you guys. Big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Um, if you guys are not familiar with Skillshare, which I'm sure a lot of you are, Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where you can really just dive deep into your hobbies and your passions. There's hundreds of classes. There's something for everyone from photography, social media, uh, videography, everything, content creation. So. If you're creative and you want to learn more about something, Skillshare is definitely where you could do that. I like Skillshare because it's affordable, it's curated learning, so there's no ads and they're constantly launching new premium videos, which is great because you kind of never get bored and there's always something new to learn. Here's one of the classes I was just checking out that I think is really cool. If you guys follow me, you might kind of be into social media maybe or content creation at least. Um, because that is kind of what I do 24 seven in my life. So I figured this video would be really interesting and I kind of started watching it earlier today. Let me show you. So this class is a video for Instagram, how to tell an engaging story in less than a minute. I found this class really, really um, engaging and I was watching it earlier today. So highly recommend you guys check it out. The first 1,000 people that click the link in the description will get to try out Skillshare Premium for free, which I think is pretty amazing. And if you've been curious about Skillshare or have been wanting to just dab into some of your passions and hobbies and interests, this would be a great time to do that. I think I'm about to make myself some coffee and finish watching Watching this episode in this class and then head to the gym soon. Good morning, I just finished getting ready and I went live on Amazon Live. I'll have my Amazon Live link in the description. Definitely follow me if you don't already so you can get notified when I'm going live next. But for this live, um, I was sharing my summer favorites. So you got to see a sneak peek of my closet and what I'm loving, what I need for summer, all that jazz. We honestly have the coolest microwave in this apartment. I've never seen a microwave like this, but it took us a second to figure out how to open it, and then I realized there's an open button. How cool is this? So you pretty much just open and close it. But yeah, I am going to actually do my hair now, and then I have an errand to run. Oh, someone's picking up our TV. Pretty much have everything ordered except the couch. We're going to the store later tonight. Um, there's actually a, the couch I liked. They have a store here in Miami. So we're gonna go to the store later tonight and see the couch in person to see if we wanna order it or not. Um, but everything else has been ordered. So now it's just a waiting game on all the other furniture. So I think we're gonna go do that later. And yeah, I think we're gonna go to the design district. La was just there because he had to go get his pants tailored. He texted me, he's like, we have to come here and I've been wanting to go check out some of the stores there and maybe get food. So I think we might go later. 
but everything is just TBD right now. We just got back home and I think we're about to watch a movie, do some work and then go to bed. But I think I'm going to end this vlog here. It kind of, yesterday was a little bit more of the moving stuff. Today was just kind of like an everyday vlog. Not much moving going on except someone picked up our TV so it's no longer here. Yay! Um, and yeah, dinner was great by the way. We went to this Lebanese spot and it was so, 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 so tasty and flavorful really good food i can't wait to take my best friend there when she visits she's visiting us soon so she's gonna love that food so i was just thinking about her and i'm like i can't wait to take her there so that's kind of it i'm gonna close this vlog out here i love you guys see you in the next vlog